What's up, Robin Corinne here. This week, Threadheads takes a trip to the Capitol to hang out with Morgan Hungerford. She runs the DC-based fashion blog, Panda Head, and has her own clothing line, Muss. I was making up a list of dumb nicknames to call my boyfriend one day, and Panda Head was one of them, and I thought it was kind of hilarious. About a year ago, I got kind of obsessed with looking at other street style blogs from around the world, and I realized that there was a gap here. DC wasn't represented. Um, DC as a city, we do have a really great history of sort of punk and DIY. Um, it's really easy. All you need is a camera and a blogspot address, and it's free. So the Panda Head site is pandahead.blogspot.com. And you can read my columns, my DIY articles at brightestyoungthings.com. Um, today I'm going to make a paper bag waist skirt. Any old skirt you've got laying around the house that's maybe a size or two too big, you can also get one on the cheap from the thrift store. And all you'll need for this is a ruler, some elastic, straight pins, a pair of scissors, and obviously a skirt and a sewing machine. The first step is just turn the skirt inside out. Then you're going to want to measure two and a half inches down from the top. Um, you can go for less or more if you want to. So measure that and pin it. Since this is a little bit of a higher rise skirt, measure it at your natural waist. You want it to be tight, but you don't want it to be uncomfortably tight. Hold it there, let it retract, and just give it a snip. And then what you're going to want to do is pin it along the line that the pins are in. All right, I've got all the elastic on. If you peek inside, you'll get a little bit of a preview of what it's going to look like when it's all sewn up. So now we just head over to the sewing machine. When you sew it, you need to make sure that you've pulled it taut. So make sure that you're pulling above and below, and it's completely smooth as it's going through the machine. I'm sewing this through upside down, so the bottom stitch that should usually be underneath is going to be on the top. All right, and we're all done. It's really cute, it's a higher waist, it stays in place, and it's not uncomfortable to wear at all. So, there you go. Thanks, Threadbanger. To check out Morgan's blog, head over to pandahead.blogspot.com. We'll be right back. Don't be a prick. Share your favorite shows with all your friends and help spread the love. Hi, my name is Paula Santiago and I made one of your shoulder bags. Um, here it is. I like it. It's a little bit weird, but I was sewing with, with this. So it took a while. So thanks guys, I love your show. You guys rock. We just got that video in from Hades the Queen. Thanks. We also got this one submitted by Otto from Sweden. On the forums this week, Meander posted this super quiet necklace she made out of shrinking plastic. Jule made good use of the yo-yo toot in last week's episode and made these awesome hair clips. And Harlequin Mask 224 got inspired by the shirt vest how-to and constructed one for himself. And then we got Crazy Days, who created a frapper map to keep track of all the threadheads worldwide. Check the forums for the link and add yourself. Well, it's official. Next week we're going on vacation and headed to the Burning Man Festival in Nevada. Yes! We'll make sure we bring back plenty of footage. But don't worry, we got the next couple weeks covered. It'll be like we're not even gone.